Now, after Aam Aadmi Party leader Javed Ahmed has been named in the new killings, the BJP is upping the ante and attacking Arvind Kejriwal's party. BJP is saying Tahir, Tahir Hussain in the national capital, Javed Ahmed in Nu. Javed Ahmed is accused of killing a Bajrang Dal activist. Now, this is the latest tug of war that is taking place between the Aam Aadmi Party and the Bharatiya Janata Party. The BJP is now targeting one of the Aam Aadmi leaders from the state of Haryana, Javed Ahmed. The BJP is now saying that in the riots that took place in the national capital, Tahir Hussain from the Aam Aadmi Party, his name came to the fore for inciting the violence. And now, in the state of Haryana, another person belonging to the Aam Aadmi Party, Javed Ahmed, has been named. सोहना इलाके में मौजूद हूं और 31 जुलाई को तकरीबन साढ़े दस बजे रात को इसी इलाके में आ, बजरंग दल के लीडर प्रदीप शर्मा की हत्या की गई थी उन पर जानलेवा हमला किया गया था दरअसल प्रदीप शर्मा नूह से अपने एक साथी के साथ आ रहे थे उसी दौरान सोहना इलाके में जमकर हिंसा हुई थी आप देख पा रहे हैं ये जो तमाम दुकानें हैं इनको आग के हवाले कर दिया गया था यहाँ कई जो दुकानें हैं वो जली हुई हैं और यहीं पर हिंसा हो रही थी उसी दौरान ये आरोप है कि इलाके के एक आम आदमी पार्टी के जो लीडर है जावेद वो भीड़ को यहाँ पर उकसा रहा था और उसी दौरान प्रदीप शर्मा अपने साथी के साथ यहाँ उससे गुजर रहे थे और जो एफ दर्ज करवाई गई है उसमें पवन नाम के शख्स ने बताया है कि जावेद यहाँ पर भीड़ को उकसा रहा था और ये कह रहा था कि जान से मार दो जो होगा मैं देख लूंगा उसके गाड़ी पर 20 से 25 लोगों ने हमला किया जिसमें वो बुरी तरह से जख्मी हो गए उन्हें अस्पताल में दाखिल कराया गया जहां उनकी मौत हो गई अब प्रदीप शर्मा के साथ जो आ, उसका सहयोगी पवन था उसने सोहना पुलिस को शिकायत दी जिसके बाद आम आदमी पार्टी का जो लीडर है जावेद अहमद खान उसके खिलाफ धारा 302 यानी हत्या का मुकदमा दर्ज हुआ है अब पुलिस इस मामले की जांच कर रही है वहीं जावेद से आज तक ने बातचीत करने की कोशिश की उसका कहना है कि वो पूरी तरह से निर्दोष है वो शाम छह बजे से ही अपने घर से कहीं गया हुआ था और दूसरे दिन सुबह सात बजे आया जबकि घटना 31 जुलाई रात साढ़े दस बजे की है बहरहाल इस मामले में सोहना पुलिस मामले की जांच कर रही है Now, days after riots and violence engulfed the state of Haryana, bulldozer action is continuing in the state. Haryana administration has raised down several establishments in the violence-hit region of Nu. Over 600 shanties have been demolished so far. Chief Minister Khattar has now started an anti-encroachment drive. After Aam Aadmi Party leader. Javed Ahmed was named in the new killing it is a tug of war that is taking place between the BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party the BJP is now questioning Aam Aadmi Party and saying when it was the national capital then Tahir Hussain's name came to the fore and now from new in the state of Haryana it is Javed Ahmed whose name has come to the fore Manjinder Sirsa is now joining me on the phone line Mr Sirsa very clearly The name that has come to the fore is that of Javed Ahmed, belonging to the Aam Aadmi Party. At the moment, police believes that he is one of the people who, at that time, was instigating violence. I do not know how Aam Aadmi Party and why they have been supporting this kind of people. It is not the first time that this name came up. Uh, earlier, Tahir Hussain was there, who was. and also a counselor who attacked and killed the innocent people there and also one of the uh, police officers from ib and now here comes another name where the innocent have been killed in this incident also and the main accused is from aam aadmi party so most of the time when you will find out the those people behind the violence if you remember one thing i do not know whether you remember it or not there was another name which cropped up during the uh, punjab violence which was their sitting mla mr yadav from uh, vasant vihar and at that time the person was caught in uh, that incident he was in uh, in touch with this mr yadav and he was uh, indicted in that case most of the violence cases you will find out the aam aadmi parties behind this because actually they want to show the people of the state that see the law and order problem here is a problem and when we'll come to the state we'll sort it out so this is their modus operandi from here they will 
inside the violence and then they will come out as a people that we we can solve it out and nobody is able to solve this problem and we going to solve this problem mr sir so a very think, uh, serious allegation being made by you you are saying that this is the modus operandi of the aam aadmi party it was seen in the national capital and now it seems like they are replicating the same formula in haryana you are saying that they are the ones who are inciting violence because they want to come out shining they'll turn around and say we are the ones who can actually control the situation in the state no that's true na because if you see the incident made be a punjab delhi now it's haryana why is it so everywhere with the violence occurs the person behind that violence is always a aam aadmi party leader so that is very clear that there is modus operandi so when the election was there in punjab the same incident happened in punjab and the person behind that was mr yadav from delhi a senior leader and also mla when the violence happened there in delhi then there was aam aadmi party who was a senior leader of aam aadmi party now the same situation has arisen in haryana also the election is due there after one year and the violence has interrupted there and now the person behind this violence is again aam aadmi party so it's a very clear cut case that this is this is their modus operandi to say to create a situation where the violence is interrupted and then they come out as a masiya ki hum hi isko hal kar sakte hain aur koi iska hal kar nahi sakta thank you mr sir for joining me on the story the bjp clearly saying this is the modus operandi of the aam aadmi party this is something that they have been replicating from punjab to the national capital to now the state of haryana